Hello everyone! That's right, we're finally getting to Hunter the Parenting. We'll go back and deal with the rest of if the Emperor takes the speech device eventually. But Fable hasn't seen this, so why not show it to him? I'm s I'm sad everyone. I've been posting art and I'm not famous yet. Why does the algorithm not like me? The algorithm doesn't like anyone. I wish it liked me, because then it would get bigger. I mean, sometimes it feels like someone just randomly freaking, you know, posts something and they get like super bajillion followers and you're I'm just like, all right, how do? Hmm, true. I'm just glad we have constant viewers and people like you who watch each and every video because that means a lot to us. You guys are the real ones. Anyway. Liars. If you want to be a real one, you... You have to help me fight off the zombie army in Texas. Oh my god. You'll... Not only that, but the moon is haunted. Oh my god. You'll see that later. Also, if you like us well enough, check out the Patreon. It's literally only one dollar. I have no one else to say, but it's literally one dollar, and you get a lot of free content to react to. Fables in some of them, too. I... Oh, you get a lot Actually, of content Actually, I'm kind of... I'm kind of curious though, with how uh, with how crazy the lore for the World of Darkness is, I'm legitimately surprised that the moon doesn't have something going on on it. Like, I don't know, like a moon base filled with uh, the undead or mummies or something else entirely. Because because yeah. wizards are doing wizard stuff on like Saturn or like the moons of Jupiter or something like that. So why not the moon? What's up with that? Uh, people in the comments, tell us about the weird things that are happening on the moon in World of Darkness. I'm generally curious, is all. Anyway, let's get started. Uh, just that people aren't giving me bajillions of dollars, Daisy, for existing. I'm offended. Adorable family trip. Dark pack. I like how it's literally just the entire cast of freaking, um... I love how it's literally just the castle that the Emperor has to his speech. Pretty much. Like, you can tell who's who. Well, there's one character you yeah. haven't met. There was one character from Text Speech that you haven't met, and that's Boy, and he's in this. Boy. <clears throat> yeah. I didn't know I didn't know we were doing uh, God of War. Boy. Boy. Oh. Did you see that, Fable? I saw boy. There's no, that's boy. There's there's Rogel Dorn. Yes, Rogel Dorn. It is I, Rogel Dorn. <clears throat> also, there was a bunch of red eyes looking through the woods just for a split second. Uh, I mean, they always do that. I guess. Is that is that the big D? Is that dad? Is yes. that our father? Yes. Nice. It's our father. Not my father. He's too good to be He's my everyone's father. father. He's everyone's father. Hunter the parenting people. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's a little darkness because my grandpa told me to. <laughs> because your grandpa told you to? What? Yeah! <laughs> oh my god. This is already off to a good start. Norfolk, England. Oh, well, well, damn, Daisy, oh, that's one hell of a description. Oh, six. You bet your bottom dollar, boy. I'm gonna turn it up a little. Bottom pound. We live in England now. Never mind the fucking money, Marcus. <laughs> Breathe it in. That fresh ectoplasmic air. Ah. Oh. It's thick I'm with ice. Please don't ghost the lungies. Frick, uh, my boy. Ghosts do not hunt lungies. My darling <laughs> son-in-law. Oh, why don't you tell the family where we are? Right, uh, sure thing, sir. <laughs> Hello, sir. Come on, it's been years. Just call me dad. Oh, Lord. <laughs> um, can oh, Lord. Oh. Yeah, pretty much. I think I need to turn it up a little. Uh -oh. You don't stress love. All right, um, Sir D. Big D. Ignore that. Okay. Uh. So, 
We are on one of Norfolk's many ghost walks. Okay. It is allegedly very haunted, and we are very walking on it. Me. So, suggestion, Dad, maybe tell all of us where we are headed before we arrive next time? This no. would be practical. <laughs> suggestion vetoed. <laughs> Why? Because otherwise we'd have to hear Marcus whining about how he doesn't want to go. <laughs> oh. It does sound like that. Oh, it's <laughs> not. Oh, whinge. Complain. <laughs> and I don't know how to break this to you, but... Oh, fine. Uh. Ah, not since I was, like, 15. Well, yeah. I mean, wasn't your big 15, like, last year? Oh. Uh, with the magic wizard card game and the clown? That was my 30th birthday. Clown birthday. Oh. <laughs> this is what we video gamers call an epic failure. Brother. You <laughs> <laughs> I hate it. I love it. I love it, but I hate it at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I love you, Rogo Dorn, voice um, actor, so much. Yeah, he does amazing work. Also, apparently, he had a Magic the Gathering game during his 30th birthday and clowns. You've never even heard of Gma Dork. I'm beloved. You're what? <laughs> I mean, as long as he's having fun, I, I don't think it's it's his birthday, too. He can do whatever he wants. I guess so. I mean, the one is the one getting hurt. Now listen up! My darling son-in-law, you have graciously brought our attention to I will say, D's voice actor is really good. quite the trail into a wooded area. Mm -hmm. It shall be an exciting outing for the whole family. Is that understood? I like excitement. So, this is that forest with all those active missing persons cases, I assume. Of course! Wow. Who do you take me for? What? What indeed! But be brave, boy! Purge yourself of cowardice! It's half the reason we're here! Oh, father. A scary movie may have been a more appropriate first step. His first uh. impression of terror shall be in real life, not a movie film. Hmm. We shall throw the boy into the dread inferno and see his fearful hide burn away in the conflagration! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we are not throwing my son into a fire. Or I will find a way to make an analogy physical and then smack you with it. <laughs> uh, so, so, Common, I have a question. Are you sure D is a good dad? Because he's kind of starting to do a lot of weird shit that I think I... I, I have to agree with Dor. We're not throwing him into a fire. He's not. He didn't. It was metaphorical. I know it was metaphorical, but I'm still agreeing with Dora. We're not throwing him into a fire. Oh my god. Alright, hello. Sorry. Oh. Sorry, uh, shall we go? Please. It's already third croak after midnight. We need to third get home croak. in time for breakfast. Fucking Norfolk! <clears throat> Very well, my sons. We go. He has some shorty short shorts. Yes, he does. Also, I will say, I think it's explained why he's so crazy. I mean, he's a hunter. Eventually, you either alive, die boys. fighting Unlike monsters or you go insane. The Woodland Corridor calls to us. A little bit of both. Keep an eye out and a brisk pace. Oh my no god. You're complaining, Marcus. But complaining about Marcus is allowed. Correct. <laughs> Dad. Dad. What? And now we go. But complaining about Marcus is completely fine. So, how much of this place do you remember? Eh, a little bit. Me and the lads used to dare each other to come down here alone. Okay. Spooky. These woods are bloody creepy. So oh my god. Bloody Mary. He's just dare to. How does yes, your garden is. grow? Silver bells and cockle shells. Cock, cock. Stop ruining the mood! What is talking about cock Thorpe? Relax! Just down the road from home! Hey, did you know cock oh has a church? Okay! Uh, that's like saying cock Thorpe has a pub! That's it! That is literally <laughs> yeah. the most mundane thing you could have said! What the fuck? Oh, yeah, it is. <laughs> Relax! Oh. It's not a dying woman, probably. It's probably. Oh. What? 
The scream. Uh, what's up? What's up? I think it might be a mountain lion. That scream that just said it was the the scream of not a dying woman is the subtitle. No. Well, yeah, but uh, from what I understand, certain animals, kind of like mountain yeah, lions, tend to sound like credit. dying women. It's, it's kind of creepy, actually. Mountain lions do kind of have like current missing persons report. Holy shit, of course! Yeah, a guy fell off his bike here. Oh, fuck, scary! Anything okay, else? I know the UK doesn't have mountain lions. You know, Binham? Those are only really found I mean, in desert areas. Yeah, quite close to cock! Okay, so, quick story. Back in 1091, some Benedictine monks founded a priory down in Binham. But according to legend, its priors were corrupt and oh. evil men. One of them even sold off the priory's valuables to fund some bizarre alchemical experiments. Huh. Like, you know, it's always mm. the alchemist you don't see that gets you. Yeah, it's you true. really tried with that one. <laughs> Not hard enough. Anyway, yeah. allegedly, a secret tunnel was built in the priory going between Binham all the way to Little Walsingham. Walsingham? Walsingham? Isn't that three miles? Uh, yes. Others say that the tunnel actually leads between Binham and a guild house in Blakeney, which is even oh. further. And some say it leads between both. That's a lot of digging, isn't it? That is a lot of digging, isn't it? Many accounts have been made of a figure stepping out from the tunnel beneath Binham Priory. Black hooded monk traversing the priory between oh. dusk and dawn. The tale of the spectre eventually reached an intrepid fiddle player who decided to investigate. Before entering, the fiddler, alongside his trusty canine companion, offered a crowd of locals a chance to accompany him on his subterranean trip by following the sound of his fiddle overground. The strong reverberations of his music would be heard even through the earth, so he said. Ah. And indeed, it was. Playing all the while, the fiddler began his trek through the tunnel. Mm. The locals, listening intently, Ooh. chased the sound of his music. All was seemingly well. Then, after about a mile of walking, the sound of his fiddle ceased. Oh. Some time later, the locals found the fiddler's dog wet and whimpering, but the fiddler himself was never seen again. This trail we're walking on leads across where this tunnel was supposedly would have gone between Binham and Walsingham, and it is said that sometimes you can still hear the distant sound of the fiddler yet wandering the depths of the earth. Mm. Eerie. <coughs> Very eerie. I what do you think, Fable? To fear. Ground Interesting. Fiddle. That's Ground all I remember, fiddle. though. I haven't been around here since we were like. 11, maybe? That's all I remember. Fucking hell, like you didn't just belt out an entire encyclopedia on the subject. Yeah, shit, sorry. You've been over this? Listen, all I'm seeing is kid in madness right now. Yeah. <laughs> Always impressed. It's understandable. No one did that like she more than me. Mm. <laughs> what? Funny. Where did that it's come from? Fine. I like you more than him. So it even now. Hmm. Lovely and dysfunctional. I'm happy. Such is family. Mostly the former. Ah, nice. Shit. Speaking of, actually, have you ever been in these parts? Not really. At least, nothing I remember. Ah, uh, that's fine. Honestly, I don't think you missed anything special. <laughs> Ghost monkey! Uh, uh, Ghost monkey! these noises, boy! Concentrate. You <laughs> are the master of your reality. Whip it into submission with your giant, powerful arm! <laughs> the only things that make a big sound in the woods are bears and people. Was that a bear or a people? Boy, that's a bear person. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I'm sure were bears are a thing in the world of darkness. Yes. Well, if were sharks are, then were bears definitely. Do not are. speak to Krakus. Well, I don't. He's just always screaming from the ditch. Oh. What? What? I don't know. 
<laughs> the art style. Uh, uh, in the woods. Uh, okay, that is what you meant. It's an interesting way to draw things and animate. I mean, it makes it easier to get videos done in a Come certain more. timeline than Yeah. Oh, no, 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 I wish I knew how to do this kind of art style. Oh. Dad! Where the fuck are you going? This is I like really bother cool him. him. The convention. Yeah, he's just annoyed by it. Conventional ghost walk experience. Thank you for the lurk. Wait, is is that? Whoa. Father, do, do you wish to enter this hole? Oh. Torches at the ready. Going in. Torches, I forget to think. He <laughs> slides down like a rock. Honestly, same. Boys only eaten meat, butter, and coffee with m egg milk for the past month. He is extremely powerful as a result of this. The local bullies call him mate. Pronounce meat. This entire flies over Dor's head as he cannot, nor care to, decipher the British language. I feel you, Dor. I feel you on that. I, I feel you. Mm-hmm. Listen... I don't. I. I have a hard enough time trying to speak English. I'm not about to try to learn the British language. I'm not at all sorry. You have a problem with that? Fight me. <laughs> That's completely fine, Fable. Also, I, I still, honest to God, hate the fact that hate the fact that uh, in Warhammer, in Warhammer. Uh, Space Marine, they say Lieutenant. I know that's the proper way to pronounce it, but I'm too American, so I refuse. Marcus and Kitten were childhood friends before Marcus moved. They live again as adults as a land party in Great Yarnum. Yarnum. Yarnum? Yarnmouth. Yarnmouth? Anyway, the relationship has never had Kitten not telegra telefragged Marcus into vicious <laughs> need to pr prove his gamer superiority. The hunt lasted 42 hours before the two, grim and sleep-deprived, decided to get physical. Now it's been eight years and Marcus has yet to succeed at exploding Kitten into pieces, but are at least content. Oh my god. <laughs> it is very silly. It is. I still like how he's still called Kitten. Yeah. <laughs> they didn't even try to name him anything, just straight up Kitten. Yeah. Freaking. Door boy, Marcus, mm -hmm. kitten. Holy shit! These, these must be the tunnels. I, well then, I wasn't even sure they were real. I, uh, fucking hell! I'm all right. Keeping your up for fiddle, boy. <laughs> Wait, come look at this. What? Oh, someone's been living here. Isn't this suspicious looking? Looks no worse than Marcus's room. <laughs> That's a good Looks no worse than your it. face. What'd you say? Looks like there was a katana. Yes, yeah, sorry. it does. <laughs> uh, I would argue with that. Right. Let's split up. Uh, any particular reason? It shall be spookier that way. Okay, Frederick from Spooby Doob. Frederick really from Spooby Doob. Come, boy. It's all right. Nothing here can hurt you. Except Cadence. Oh. And fiddle ghosts. Why you always gotta watch for the fiddle ghosts, mate? A curse upon your names. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, so dumb. <laughs> it's a. Hmm. I'm sorry about that. What is it? To my understanding, it looks like probably some uh, people were like. Possibly some homeless people or some teens were uh, squatting here. It's probably Either way, that's people. 
either way that's not good especially if you go to like abandoned places and you deal with homeless people chances are they will attack you and you that's not this? good how do i know this oh sometimes i watch these videos about people doing like urban urban exploration mm-hmm. and a lot of the time urban explorers have mentioned that one of the things they're most afraid of when doing when going to places like this is squatters because squatters are so defensive yeah. about their territory they will probably try they're really scared but chances are if they're desperate enough they will attack you and that's really dangerous because you don't know well, how, how far they're willing to go you know yeah there's a difference between a squatter and a homeless person to me though like squatters are well, like, yeah. actively choosing to stay in a property that they don't own well homeless people like stay under bridges or areas not really owned in public places yeah but it's just it really depends because it de- I think it just depends on the person, because sometimes when you have nothing left to lose, you're willing to defend it, and that's really scary, because nothing's yeah. scarier than a, than a person with nothing left to lose in situations like that. Pretty much. Vampires are nearby. Aww. Mm. Very boring. Common, do not spoil anything. No need to panic. So Ooh, shush from now on. <laughs> Or I might have to give it's you a surprise for sure. Oh yeah, what was it too bad? No need to panic. Look, it's a picnic table. Why? Well, let me go back a bit. Oof. Very, very boring. Why is no need to panic. Table? Look, it's yeah, a picnic that was a table. good question. Why is that? It's a surprise for sure, but a welcome one. One of the okay. greatest table designs known to man. <laughs> the unity of table and bench. Pure in function, yet handsome in its form. Oh my god. I... I'm... I'm gonna love it. <laughs> hmm. A moment, boy. I must measure the board with. Why? It must be done, boy. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I think if I was a builder or like a carpenter, I probably would do the same thing. Oh my god. Just, just, it just seems right to do that. To do that silly stuff? Yeah. Oh. Ooh, what was that? Is that, is that a spooder? Does it look like a spooder? Oh! No, oh, it's a vampire. Yeah, oh, that looks like a Nosferatu. Oh. Uh, two for two. Don't worry, kid. It'll all be over soon. Oh. This ain't good. Oh. Oh, right in the eye. Yo, are you good? No. No. Oh, she put him in a thing. Oh! <laughs> he just straight up pulled out a gun. Jesus Christ. Yes, he got his son in a little carrying thing and then pulled out a gun and shot them. Ah, oh, right. uh, there are more of you here, aren't there? Light it up, my Okay, Come first on. off, is that a flintlock with a with a you with know a, what? Fine. With a wooden okay. stake at the end, yes. Jesus Christ. Are those glow sticks? Yes. Oh. Okay. Ghosts? No, boy. They're vampires. Kindred. Yeah. But these ones are probably just licks. What did you just fucking call those blood bags? Do you even know what those words mean? I'm freshly read up. Well, I got a name for you. Dead meat. Shut the oh my fuck God. up, shitbeard. You. Ski goggles. Keep talking. I'm oh. gonna make some guesses. You can tell me if I'm wrong. You're wrong. Okay, oh my God. So <laughs> you are sludge lad. What? A sludge lad. You know, easy to assume going by your ugly mug. Sludge. You, meanwhile. You animal type vampire. Your vicious sideburns and the mask. I will bite your cock off. Oh. Ooh. Wonderful. So, I would guess you are a biker bro, Black. It's pronounced Clan What? Oh, 
Oh, right there. Ah, shit, be it! <laughs> platforming the antediluvian concept of clans in front of the potential shovel heads. Oh, sure. my God. Okay. I'm sorry, I'm in a really hurting state right now! Right, good. Oh, my God. Oh, fuck. Brewha. <laughs> so, lastly, the Brewha you clan. are a witch clan? A vampire wizard. How would you know this? <laughs> <laughs> It's it's literally the wizard hat in the wizard robe. Yes, he's like going, how would you know this? But yeah, Bruja is not the... That's Troyodor is the is the wizard clan, from what I remember. You're not that hard for us to figure out. Okay, oh. but everything your mate just said was wrong. Details! <laughs> now enough with the distractions, son-in-law. We have them surrounded. Fuck, boss, it's not looking good! Yes, you found it! Yeah. Two hunters to the launch site of the crusade! Fuck Fuck you fucking overfeed! Oh, the no such thing as overfeed! <laughs> I disagree. Well, boys, you've had your 15 minutes. Kill the hunters! Oh. 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 Scream for me. Oh. God damn. <laughs> are you okay? Yes, are you? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's fair. You want to know yeah. The name of the guy about to eat your goddamn soul. Over me. Oh. You fucking <laughs> Oh. You should have never should have come here, blood bags. The uh, sort of cane should cleave you in twain. <laughs> oh. You think you're being funny? I am not funny. <laughs> I mean, you're right. I mean, <laughs> oh, he's getting hurt. Any other tricks you had up your sleeve? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> My face. Oh, that's gotta hurt. Fuck you. Hey, 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 Do yourself a favor. Stop brutalizing my fiance, please. You get to have a fiance. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Your funny little fort has been seized, bloodbag. Oh. <laughs> oh. No, no. You. Oh. Yeah. Got him. Hold down. Door got. You know what? Uh, I know in World of Darkness, but do you know what staking a vampire does to him? Uh, paralyzes them. Yeah, basically, what? they can't yeah, do anything. Yeah, I don't yeah, pretty much just paralyzes them. Oh, I can't don't just didn't have any eyes anymore. Well, hey, you're the nastiest vamp I've ever seen. <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> <laughs> you're a goddamn cheese lover boy. Oh, there we go. Do you have to cut off a vampire's head to fully kill it? No, you, they're weak to the sun, so you can just throw them out in the middle of the day and they'll burn to a crisp. Oof. An angry vampire is a predictable vampire. Yeah. <laughs> Marcus, I got one! Hell yeah, companion! Oh. Yeah, companion. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. Please. So what's dad Please. doing exactly? I'm not sure. You little shit heel! You wanna be embraced? Spoil a little ass! Not on your life! You're me! Or <laughs> Oops. Looks like I embraced you. Oh. <sighs> Stick jacket. I got one too! That was incredibly irrational. Fuck you, door. I got him. I think we all got one, actually. Uh, anyone uh, have an ice pack? I got an ice pack. Uh, you sure do, champ. <laughs> uh, he almost died. Died. Marcus, your contraption has many problems. You could have tripped on the way here and hurt yourself. 
But I didn't. The vampires mm. could have noticed and not jumped at you. But they did. Yes. <laughs> this time. But next time, maybe you should just bring a gun. No, oh, fuck you, America. Steak jacket is the best <laughs> idea. Tell them, tell them it's such a cool the idea. Jacket's very clever, Marcus, but... Hold on a second. Was that... I like how he says America really when he has them? such a freaking Australian right. accent. Oh. Yeah. I'm waiting for you to notice. Not a step oh. closer! Oh. No harm shall befall me! Gentlemen, this man is a wizard! I cannot It is the oppressive power of the wizard type He is dominating our wills! I can't... Oh, no. Step... Forward! Those mortal fools dare invade the lair of mighty Kevin! <laughs> These tunnels are not yours! Kevin? Yes, his name they is the mighty Kevin. The canite, then, now and forevermore! A legend. Uh, so your kind was behind the death of the fiddler. The fiddler? What the fuck? <laughs> An ancient wives' tale, far beneath me, Kevin. But mm. I would not bet against it. These mystic halls hide many secrets, but none for you to know, kind. All your knowledge is ours now, Tick. You and your whole little rat pack are gonna sing like sopranos when we get our hands oh. on the will of heaven! Oh no! Father, you oh. foul swine! You have <coughs> been me so so hungry! Father. Oh no! It's fine, my children. You have done me proud. Enough! The beast oh. shall be denied no longer! No. <laughs> No, oh, don't you dare die! Oh, this sweet lecture! <laughs> I feel like I know what he's doing. Mm. Addicting, magical, mm. lemon scented! Lemon scented! The Kevin demands no. more! Do something! But do Damn something! It. If, Anything! If only I could move! It's, uh, Good thing I came here. Absolutely fucked on DMT. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> As expected of Sir D, he knew that putting narcotics in his system would befuddle the vampire. That is definitely why I did that. It's both. <laughs> Liar! <laughs> Oh my god. Such a liar. I love how you scream that out. <laughs> I had to. He's a, such a son of a bitch. Broken. And we're back. Oh. Oh, I'm back. Oh. Big work, everyone. We got him. Done. Bigly. Shut up, Dad. You're delirious. Marcus, have you always had my right? Ah. <laughs> oh. No. I. The great and mighty Kevin, you are shit, spit rotting in a ditch at the side of the road, compared to me. Oh boy. You shall obey, obey. You got my mind control, lads. Like I trained you, boys. Break okay. eye contact and shatter concentration. One way of shadow concentration. Oh. I think they got him. Uh. Common, oh. I have a question. Oh, <laughs> look at him. <laughs> they shoved like 20 in him. Oh, go ahead. I, I have a legitimate question. Uh, when dealing with that, is putting on sunglasses an actual way to avoid eye contact with with such a with such an attack i mean it obscures your vision right but is does that like fully help with avoiding eye contact that, that's I, that's a question i have that is a good question though if it helps confuse the vampire yes oh okay mm. and that is how Fair it's enough. done yeah. Fabulous job, boys. A few more piles like these, and I'd say you're ready for the big league. Four vamps! 
That's more than we've ever caught before. Holy mm. shit, I cannot wait to get back to study them. <laughs> oh, yeah. Back to my house. Because I'll actually get to do that this time, right? Marcus, I'm so proud of your scholastic habits. Just leave the wizard to me and I'll give you the I lot. Murderous okay. vampires in my house to experiment <laughs> on. That's great. Boy, you oh. did good tonight. I, I hate vampires so, so heckin' much. Boy, oh. language. No, boy, you're doing well. <laughs> Learning to sublimate hate in place of fear is part of becoming a well-adjusted adult. <laughs> like <It's> me! Not... <laughs> I just want It's to... not. We need fear to keep us alive. The minute we stop feeling fear, the bad things start happening. Okay, you were just about to go into a similar rant to the main bad guy of Big O about fear, but I'll show you that later. Okay. Father, I don't think... Got that... it! Also, I love my precious grandchild. You did so well. All I did was scream and give ice packs. So, oh. the journey of a hundred miles begins with, with a, a single, single step. step. That uh, is this true. This was the first step on your road to confidence. I, I, I kind of don't want to. <laughs> I, I want to go home. Do Halo 2 Deathmatch. Too bad we didn't Halo get a single look at any fiddlers or black clad <laughs> monks. <laughs> you know what? I feel like we got our fill of supernatural creatures anyhow. Just hope the Arcanum doesn't find out this time. It's fine. It really is. For this kind of catch, the ends very much justify the means. Well said, sons. And besides, it's like I always say, no, no witnesses, no, no cry. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> I don't fit back to skin. <laughs> like the severe head trauma. Fuck, adrenaline is so potent. This yes, is, is a pretty cool trick. That's the spirit, Marcus. But the night isn't over yet. We've got vampires to interrogate and... I've got ayahuasca to brew in the cabinet. Oh, no. Yes, what? you do, my sweet little grandson. You shouldn't be. Family, let's go home. Oh, there's more no, DMT. Uh, that's the group of people that are trying to find out as much information as possible about the supernatural. Uh, Remember? To be honest, no. Oh my god. Oh. Hunters. Look at their drone. Is that the fiddler? Maybe, I don't know. All I know is he's driving not very well. I mean, he is on. Of course, he's not. Aid Riders. Alpha speak. Alpha Busa. Speaker D. So, Fable. What did you think of the first episode of Hunter the Parenting? I don't believe Big E. I mean, sorry, Big D is a good dad. I'm sorry, I refuse to accept that. No, he was not on no, he was not on drugs because he knew they were dealing with vampires. He was just on drugs because he's a maniac. Yeah. And yeah, I think it's interesting. I like Dor. Mostly because he's essentially just Rogo Dorn, but you know. I know. It's, it's not really there's not really much um change in that. I I just think he's hilarious. I know, you know. We'll eventually get to episode one, but for all of you, thank you all so much for coming by. If you like what we're doing here, please do consider following, and that'll definitely tell me you want more of this. The likes also tell me you want more, and a lot of views tell me you guys really, really want more. Well, yeah, any last words, Fable, before we send you back to the Shadow Realm? The moon is haunted. Oh my god, it's not haunted. Moon is haunted. We aren't in Shadow the Hedgehog here. Moon is haunted. Oh my god. Anyway, thank you all so much. And I hope you guys like this. We'll see you later.
And if Don't. you and if you want more content of us reacting, check out the Patreon. There's over a hundred. There's over like two hundred videos there. I think. Loads I, pistol. Moon is haunted. Why are you loading pistols here? Because the moon is haunted. Oh my god. Anyway, there's like over a hundred videos at the very least. I used to do a thing where I would really swan or at least four a week. So yeah, there should be over a hundred. And all the first audio log. What are you on about? Anyway, sorry. Thank you all so much, and we'll see you later. Bye.